when you're doing Gaussian elimination by hand or using another calculator, those row operations, it's really easy to stuff something up. And once you stuff something up, it's over. It's really easy if you've got your TI Inspire because you can do the row operations on there instead. And that's what we're going to do. So from the home page, get into calculate like this. The first thing we're going to do is enter this matrix and give it a name. So the way that I'm going to do that is jump into this one here, choose the 3x3 three three looking matrix. It's not really a 3x3 three three matrix. Okay, so we choose that one. Number of rows. Now we want uh, 1, 2, 3 rows, but we want 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. Okay, and then we just enter in all of these numbers. Okay, once we've entered in all of those numbers there, we're going to create a variable by going control store and then give this variable a name. I'm going to call it uh, Q for no reason at all, just because that's a good variable name. Okay, now that we've called it Q, we can start calling that and doing row operations as we go. So if we want to do row operations, it's the same thing every time. We go into menu, we go down to where it says matrix and vector, and we choose row operations. And then we choose the row operation that we want to do. So what do we want to do? It says we want to subtract 2 times row 1 from row 2. So when it comes to our little table here, we want to do a row operation. And we want to multiply a row and add the row. There's no subtract here, so we need to be a bit clever about how we do things. All right, so m row add and then the syntax for m row add is as follows now the syntax here is going to be a little bit confusing we're interested in multiplying by two so that's the first thing we do we multiply by two oops multiply by two the next thing we do comma is call our matrix so we're going to multiply by two the matrix q but not all of the matrix q just row 1 and then we're going to add it to row 2 so we're multiplying by 2 the matrix Q but only row 1 and once we've done that we're going to add it to row 2 quite confusing the problem is that we don't want to add it to row 2 we want to subtract it from row 2 but we don't have an M row subtract function so instead of multiplying by 2 multiply by negative 2. If you multiply by negative 2, that means that you're, you're going to have all negative values here and you can add them instead. All right, after that, um, that's going to create a new matrix for us, but we want to store that matrix as, we sort of overwrite the original Q matrix as this matrix now. Okay, and let's check that this did what we wanted it to do. We had one, two, three, and what we did here was take row one, multiply it by negative two, and add it to this row. And you can see that's worked. All right, the next step here is another subtract three times row one from row three. So it's the same syntax here. So I've entered it again here. You can see that it's another subtract one. So I need to multiply by negative three, the matrix Q, which is now this, not this, and then I'm multiplying row 1 by negative 3, and then I'm adding it to row 3. And that is going to be my new matrix. And you can see I've got all my zeros here. You can see it matches up with this one here. Now, step 4 is multiply row 2 by 3 and multiply row 3 by 2. Um, so, this is two steps, and you can't really do the two steps in one step. So, I'll have to do a step, and then I'll have to do another step. This time I'm not doing row add, I'm just doing row multiply. So I'm just doing multiply a row. Now the first one here says multiply row 2 by 3. So the multiplication goes first. We're multiplying by 3 the matrix Q and which row in matrix Q? Row 2. So that's that multiplication and then we need to do a similar multiplication but this time we're going to multiply row 3 by 2. 2 Q 3. I did forget to store my answer as Q, so at the moment Q is still this. So I'm going to remedy that by just pressing Control, Answer, and then I'm going to store it as Q, wherever Q is, and Enter. 
and that's stored this answer as Q. So I'm back in business. All right, so now I'm doing that other multiply row, multiply row three by two in matrix Q and then storing it as Q, uh, enter. And so we're very close. We should look exactly like that. And then finally, we're gonna subtract row two from row three. Now, of course, we don't have a subtract function here. So what we're gonna have to do is multiply row two by negative one and add it to three. Multiply by negative one, matrix Q, uh, we're gonna multiply row two and add it to three. And when we do that, we get this, which should look exactly like that. So there are our row operations um, for matrices. Now I did miss a row operation, but it should be pretty obvious what it does. I missed the swap row um, matrix. I just want to show you the syntax in case you do want to swap rows. If I want to swap rows, I choose the matrix that I want to swap rows in, and then I just say swap row two with row three. It doesn't matter what order you do that in, obviously, because when you swap them, you, you swap them. It happens to both of them. Uh, Q. And now you can see I've done a swap, which has ruined my nice, neat little thing, but at least now you can see that you can swap these quite easily. I've swapped it back because it was bugging me. There is one more thing I want to show you, is there is a shortcut without all of this row swap, etc., etc., etc. So I'm just going to re-enter this matrix and store it again as Q. So I'm going all the way back to the beginning. I've re-entered it, stored it as Q, so now I can work on it. And now when we go into our menu function, you can see matrix vector, you can see um, row echelon form and reduced row echelon form. Let's see what happens when we row echelon form matrix Q. All right, you can see that it gets us down to a row echelon form of matrix Q. Now, does it look the same as this? No, it doesn't because they've used a, a different series of row operations than what we've chosen to use, but that is a version of um, row echelon form. Now, we can also do reduced row echelon form. Just get into matrix here. Reduced row echelon of matrix Q, and then we get this nice, neat little thing here which tells us that Z equals three, Y equals two, and X equals one, because all of these other things are zeros. And so that's a very, very fast way of getting to the answer of this um, series of uh, equations, system of equations. That's it, all done.